Hello, Dave Roberts again, Alicat Charters. Today, we've got a hot day, a really hot day today. We've done some good species. Uh, we've done the rays and we've done the smooth hounds. Today, we're gonna to take a look at one of the most ancient fish, one of the most successful fish in the Bristol Channel of recent years. Um, there's the bull hus. We're gonna run down the North Somerset coast, North Devon coast, see what we can find. These fish will inhabit all sorts of waters. They'll come into the, the shallow grounds where we're gonna to go today. We're gonna to go to the shallow grounds today. This is where the females, the big females, come in to lay their eggs. Their eggs will be laid in purses with strings attached, and they'll attach themselves to the weed and the rocks down on the ground. I think it's about an eight to 10 month gestation period. <laughs> um, they'll be about eight to 10 months on the ground when they will hatch into a proper little baby bull house. This is a nursery area. The Bristol Channel generally is a nursery area, especially on the inshore grounds where we're gonna to go today. Uh, we also get a bit of the males in there as well, get the females, all sorts. So we're gonna to hope to catch one or two bull husks. Fantastic species. You can get them all over the place, the deep water grounds out in the middle of the channel, uh, the rough, rough, rough ground patches, the deep water gullies, uh, all sorts of ground these bull husks will, will search. They're looking for crustaceans, crabs, uh, even little lobsters, little squat lobsters, edible crabs, hardback crabs, hermit crabs, any sort of crabs, prawns, brilliant food. But again, fish, they'll take fish, so we're going to use mackerel, we're going to use squid, basic baits. Um, the rigs we use, this is a fairly, it's not a modern day thing, but these are called hookups. We've used them in various forms for many years, but these are called hookups. It's simply no trace, it's a weight with a hook tied directly or attached directly to the weight. I'm not sure the colour makes an awful lot of difference, but we're going to use coloured ones here. A variety of coloured ones. We're going to use a single hook as well. We never use two hooks for bull hus. Just one single hook, whether it's on a hookup or a flowing trace. This is a flowing trace attached to a running ledger. There's your flowing trace of about three feet. 60 pound mono. Single hook. Never a penal or a double hook. Just a single hook for the bull hus. Fill it a mackerel, fill it a squid, squid head, mackerel head. Good old old fashioned bait on there. So there's your running ledger. There's a 12 ounce lead on a zip slider that will run on the main line. That will come down, stopped by a bead against the swivel of the trace. There we go. That will sit on the ground and the bait will sit on the ground also. That is it. That is your gear for the bull hus. So hopefully we can get out there today and the sun is really hot. It doesn't make a lot of, lot of difference for the, for the bull hus. They're fairly obliging with a bit of luck. And with a bit of luck we can find one or two. Handling, yeah, they're, they're quite feisty animals. Um, with a bit of luck we'll catch one and um, we'll show you how to handle him then. Okay, let's go and try and get a bull hus. Ah, hello. Yes, uh, Dave Roberts again. We are now bull hus fishing. We've arrived at the Mar Mark. Beautiful, beautiful bit of Devon countryside here. Uh, we just put the rods down. It's actually by that rod already. We've only just started, but uh, ah no, he's he's gone. That's right. Okay, right. We're going to look at baits. Baits for bull hus. Bull hus are very basic animals. They're great schoolboy fishing. We call it real nice grunty fish. Good bitey fish. Fighty fish. Um, we're going to use basic baits. When I first started fishing down here many, many years ago from Pollock Weir, I think I think the bull hus was one of the first fish I ever caught. Um, I was allowed to fish in the back of the boat uh, with a hand line, and I found this thing jumping up and down on the end of my bit of string, and it turned out to be a bull hus, about 11, 12 pounds. And I never forgot it. I love the bull hus, they're beautiful, beautiful animals. Anyway, basic, really back to basics. Running ledger gear, fairly heavy trace, fairly heavy rod and rail. Um, and, and just simple bait, fillet of mackerel. And we're going to fillet of mackerel. Do that again the other side. Perfect bull husk bait. We might want to take that down the middle, make two baits like that. There we go, we got a nice fillet of mackerel. And again, again, as I said before, just don't mess around too much with the squid, just cut a chunk off and we'll put that on. A running ledger trace with a fairly heavy 60 70 pound mono trace and that you know that's about it for bull hus they're very basic animals get that on the bottom 
on this sort of ground, this roughy sort of ground, this crabby, uh, scrubby ground where the, the huss lay their eggs and the weeds and what have you, uh, this is the place to be for the bull huss. Um, that bite hasn't gone away, by the way. Anyway, great stuff. Here we are, beautiful, beautiful day. Let's see what we can find. Oh, wait, what? I don't know what we've got here. That was a quickish bite. Oh, oh. oh dear. God, blimey. Oh. <laughs> it's typical bull ass. On bull husk ground, we've got a bull husk bait. We've got fairly hefty gear. What have we got? What have we got? Whoa! It's really basic fishing. Good, fun, basic fishing. Oh, ja. oh it's a 30 pound boat rod. Oh. Fairly heavy reel. We want to get this animal in fairly quickly. What a beautiful day. Oh, look at this. What a start. Look at that now. Look. <laughs> uh, oh, we've got a bull hat on the, on the hook up and we've got a dogfish on the going trace. Look. What about that? <laughs> beautiful bull hat on the hook up. Beautiful bull hus. Okay, there we go. Beautiful little bull hus. I'll let it get back in the water quick. Okay. We go some in our. Oh, she goes. Look at that. <laughs> Beauty. Oh, these bullets don't target a specific place. So we'll run them down this coastline, all sorts of areas. This little spot here, we've got brittle stars, lots of little tiny brittle stars. We've got kelp weed. We've got little bits of coral. Roughy ground. The bullets love it to lay their eggs. Bounce, 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 bounce. They call them bounce. The North Devon boys call them bounce because look at this rod. Look, look, bounce in a way. Bounce. Look, 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 Oh wow, this one's going mad. Oh, good. This one's on a running ledger. Oh, this is fairly heavy gear. We want to get them in fairly quick. I don't want to stress this animal too much. I know we're stressing them a little bit, but we want to get them in as soon as possible. Oh, right, limey. This is a good one. Come on. Oh. So close to the Devon coast, it's beautiful, beautiful ground. Oh, a nice pass here. Ah, ah. ah. Beautiful animal. Beautiful animal. Okay, there she is. Beautiful female bull hus. Coming on this ground, as I said, to lay the eggs. I'm not going to stress her too much. I'm going to let her go. Okay. Come on, baby. Oh. Thank you. 
there, plenty of bull hus today. There's a male fish. This one's a male fish. He's a beauty. Go on, boy. Off you go. Oh. This big male. So there, we've finished our bull hus fishing. We've been in close on the rocks here. Um, along the Devon coast, riding close on the rocks has been really good. Um, never more than probably a quarter of a mile, half a mile at the most off the shore at any time. And we've had some superb fishing with the bull hus from little baby ones to the big, big fish, probably at 14, 15 pound, the best one. Some really good fishing. Um, yeah, so there we are, that's that. We're off back to mine head now. All fish returned. We never kill the bull hus. It's part of the conservation plan. All the bull hus go back alive. We like to use fine hooks, even barbless sometimes, but that doesn't really matter. As long as we put the fish back at the end of the day carefully, uh, let them get on with the breeding program. Okay, so we're going back to mine head now. That's it, the bull hus finished. <laughs>